We're back here at the Sunny Werbel and Recreation Center. Rutgers defeats Georgetown and Providence. We're joined by the Scarlet Knights head coach, Phil Spinello. That was about as complete a day as you could have had. Some outstanding swims there. We spoke this week about preparing for the American Athletic Conference Championships. Did you see what you wanted to see? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it, was, it was a good day. Uh, we had you know good diving, now diving and Nicole Scott winning both boards. Um, I know Coach Woodruff's happy with where they're at, and we're you know heading into the AAC down the swimming end. I couldn't be happier with the way our season plans coming together. I mean, we've, we've added in some speed work here over the last um, four or five weeks that are, you can really start to see. Um, you know, we didn't we didn't put on the suits at the uh, midseason invite, and so we still have that in our back pocket. And um, you know, we didn't rest at all for that midseason invite. And now we're starting to come down and rest, and you can see some um, some strokes coming together, some speed coming in there. And I couldn't be more excited as a coach for ten days from now when we head out to Louisville. Lots of emotion here on any day that you honor six seniors. Something very important to emphasize off the top. You got a chance to grab the PA mic and announce them. What was that like for you? And then watching most of them go out there and swim today. You know, incredible. It was it was definitely emotional because this class is pretty special. They're uh, my first class to see all the way through. Is my fourth year, and they're seniors this year. So, and it's just a special crew. I, you know, they've led by example their whole time here. They're the foundation of um, you know the program in my four years and the direction that we're going. And uh, you know, I owe these women a lot, and they're, they're very loyal women. And um, you know, I I uh, can't can't tell you how important they are to the program. I know it's unorthodox to ask about a freshman on senior day, but is it okay <laughs> to ask about Chantel Aslan ask and what she was able to do today? I mean, going out there, winning a couple for you in, in uh, those events, and then having a huge leg there in the 200 free relay at the end. Absolutely. Yeah, Chantel is coming along um, exactly how we want her to. Uh, you know, she's put up some good training in the first semester, really starting to click and come together at the right time of the season. It's exactly what we want. Uh, very excited to see what she can do in, in 10 days. Um, yeah, I think she has a bright future as a Scarlet Knight. It's going to be fun. And each year you seem to have had a big-time freshman, Joanna Wu, a year ago, Aslan again this year, and each of those junior and senior classes having people that stood out too. Let's preview that American Athletic Conference meet on February the 19th. What does your team do now for the next 10 days? Rest. <laughs> we uh, come down, our yardage keeps coming down, um, take a couple morning practices off to you know help recover and help get some sleep and whatnot, and uh, mentally prepare. I think that's a big piece of the puzzle. Get excited. This is the best time of year for uh, swimming and diving. It's Thank exciting. Thanks for having us here today. Great atmosphere, outstanding wins, nearly 100-plus points better than Georgetown and Providence today. A real statement for you. Thank you. Thank you guys for coming out. Great to have you. It's Phil Spinello, the Rutgers Scarlet Knights head coach. RU defeats both Georgetown and Providence heading into the American Athletic Conference meets. Thank you to send out the former Rutgers swimmer Danny Castellanos on analysis today. For Colin Osborne, our producer director, I'm Danny Breslauer saying good afternoon from the Sunny Werblin Recreation Center. Rutgers swimming and diving with two victories.